times have you guys ever heard a man say, I'm so sorry for how I look. Please excuse my appearance. I don't know about you, but never, not once, twice today on two different FaceTimes with two different girlfriends did they immediately say right off the bat, I don't have makeup on, I'm so sorry. I look so rough, I'm so sorry. That is so sad to think about and I do that too instinctively. That is so sad to think about. Not really, it's pretty funny to me. I'm sorry about how I look. Every day, I look the same. I don't use makeup to change how I look. I'm not going to say sorry for how I look today because I think I'll look even worse tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to see modern women realize that men are not looking for them anymore. Allow us to begin right away. If a guy ghosted you and you are absolutely going crazy, you literally can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't get your freaking mind off of him and it's driving you insane because you're like, okay, what is going on? Things were going so well, he was so sweet to me and now, boom, like out of nowhere, he just ghosted you and you're so confused and you don't know what to do. I want you to take a second and put yourself in the shoes of somebody else like give yourself the same exact advice that you would give your best friend your sister your daughter what would you tell them to do you really want to be somebody's second option or third option or fourth option if they're not 100 percent sure about you i don't care how busy they are i don't care that they're going through a hard time i don't care that they're really busy with work or travel a lot these are all excuses that you're telling yourself to make them better in your mind when in reality you know they're not it it's freaking summertime like it's hot girl summer get out there be a bad Go have fun with your friends. Go work on yourself. You can't stop thinking about them. Go on a walk. Are you really going to settle for somebody who you have to beg or convince to love you? No. And if you feel like you have to or if you feel like you need to manipulate somebody into liking you, then I would really, really encourage you to take a second to love yourself first. The most important relationship that you will ever be in in your entire life is the relationship that you have with yourself. And that is the relationship that will set the standard for how men treat you. So pay attention to how you're treating yourself. Pay attention to the things that you are telling yourself. Always remember that whoever is meant to be in your life will be in your life no matter what if it is meant to work out it will so go out there live your life and watch 99 percent of the time whenever you're done thinking about them that's when they hate you up again this girl talks about guys ghosting her by not calling her back or reading her messages and then she talks about how you shouldn't settle down it's just that you're not settling down right you're having this problem because you want to date guys who are too expensive for you right? You're looking for guys who are too good looking for you. It's not going to happen. Let's tell the truth. Beta brand won't do that to you, right? The beta provider, the nice guy, the blue pill guy, or the simp won't do this to you, all right? He's not going to let you read. He'll text you back right away after you send him a message. If anybody could have it, why would I want it? I'm going to rephrase this in a little bit of a different way. If anybody could have you, why would I want you? Makes you rethink a lot of things, doesn't it? I don't want the man that's putting himself out every weekend, making himself easily accessible to whatever female that walks, because that to me is desperate. That to me shows that that man does not respect himself and he most definitely does not respect women. The partner you choose in this life is a reflection of who you are as a person. Why would you want somebody who's acting like a buffoon acting like a clown when you don't act like that yourself. And ladies, if you are chasing after any man, I need you to take a step back. I want you to look at that perspective from a different point of view. And I want you to think of that man as a female because that's exactly the energy he's giving you. Men go after what they want. Women should never chase a man. I will never chase a man. I'll show you I'm interested, I'll leave that door open, and then it's up to you, buddy, to walk through it because from there on out, you are the man. You are the alpha. You are the provider. Okay, then. Go after the person that everyone else wants, but you can get. Of course, that really makes sense. Now, you know why guys keep turning down easy, loose women and girls. The only difference is that you get to keep your tastes, 
and I have to accept you for who you are, no matter what your past is. But remember what you said. It does make sense, though. If a man doesn't respect the fact that you would leave him if he treats you wrongly or does something to disrespect that trust, then he won't respect you in the relationship. And by that I mean, if a man knows that he can disrespect you, he could cheat on you, he could treat you wrong, he could consistently not do the things that you want in a relationship and you'll still stay with him, he won't respect you. He'll know that he can continuously do those things and you'll come crawling back to him. It's just sad because we need to have, we need to make a man feel like he could lose us. He knows that if he doesn't show up to work on the days that he has to work, he might lose his job. He knows that if he's not going to pick up his groceries or whatever, a parcel, at the time that it's there or it's getting dropped off, he's not going to get it. So we need to make those messages loud and clear so that they know that if you disrespect me or you cheat on me or you do this or that, I will leave you. I am fully capable of being on my own. And if you do those things, you will lose me. Period. Women don't need respect as much as men do, right? It's in the Bible. Men should feel like they are valued, right? That's why what happens when you treat another guy badly? It leads to a fight, right? It makes people fight. It's because of this that so many guys are careful not to step on another guy's toes, right? They're just careful around other guys because you don't want things to get physical, right? Putting yourself in a place where you could get hurt or hurt someone else is not something you want to do. You only want to keep the peace, right? That's not clear to women. Respect, especially from women, is what guys value most. Serious question. Do guys just not enjoy taking hot girls on dates? I kid you not, the past five guys I've spoken to through dating apps, they want to skip that stage. They want to skip going on the date. I'm like, I'm sorry, do you not actually enjoy taking a hot girl to a restaurant, to a bar? You don't even have to pay for the drinks, just have the company. Do you not enjoy that? Do you think it's boring? Do you think it's a waste of time? Tell me, because I can speak on behalf of probably like 99% of girls. We love it. We love it. Why, why do we skip that part, huh? Huh? <laughs> Answer to the point. We love going on dates with hot girls, of course. But the most important thing is that there are hot girls. You're more of a Netflix and chill person who isn't seen in public unless it's really dark outside. Not to go see your family because one of your uncles has a weak heart. The dog is too scared to bring home. I could keep going, but I think you get the point. His lack of consistency and communication are directly correlated to how he feels about you. What do I mean? I see so many videos on this app. If he does these 47 things, it means he likes you. Men are really just not that complicated. If they like you, you'll know. If they're interested, you'll know. If you're having to constantly guess and worry, if you're having to ask this man for effort, if you're having to like spell things out for him, I don't mean like communicating. Men need a little like direction sometimes, but if you're having to ask this man to put in effort, him to be consistent, plan situations, like if you're having to ask, him any of these things he's really just not that interested. it's clear that he's not really interested in you if you have to ask him to do all of these things there might even be a book called that's not that into you yes to be honest it's pretty simple man i don't get why these girls can't just accept that he's not interested in them right yes he will come around if you ask if you still want that guy in your life the best way to keep him is to accept that he's not going to be a good boyfriend he will come around when it's nice for you. For him. You'll keep bugging him about it until he gives up. You know you'll lose him, right? I got it. That kind of guy doesn't want to hear you talk, right? Help him out. Make things easy. It is never not hilarious to me that people threaten women with you'll end up alone. Like, I am fully convinced that people never read the data on this, but like, do you know how happy divorced women are? Like, we just published a video essay yesterday on uh, rom-coms and all of the insane messages they taught us, most of which, because obviously we're a financial channel, are, like, economic and consumerist. But one of them is that, like, in the framing of these movies, all of the young women, and they're, like, all in their 20s, because the other message is that if you don't get married by 30, your life is over. Like, they have an amazing career, an amazing group of friends, tons of disposable income. They're living their passions, and yet their lives are worthless because they're not married. And like, aside from the fact that that is like obviously socioeconomically not the case, like the framing that you can have absolutely everything in life and because you don't have a man, none of it matters is like literally the exact opposite of how it works.
Like they have done numerous studies on divorced women and overwhelmingly they report being happier post-divorce, often report significantly happier, and even many times report being the happiest they've ever been, including before they've gotten married. Not at all. Almost everything you said is not true. Another thing is that you shouldn't base your life on movies because you are wrong even there. One thing ties all of those romantic movies together. Yes, she's doing well. She only thinks about herself and the guys need to stop living their lives because he doesn't want any more happiness. I think she's going to leave. He's going to follow her to the airport and then the movie ends because they'll never be happy again. And you're still wrong about divorce and happiness. That's not a study you're talking about. It looks like the stories you found were written by divorced women. If you like the show, click like to let other people know. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do it now. Come back to this page to see more videos of people hitting walls.